and then we get this okay we need to calculate relative permeability of oil bar there the bar it means it's average at SWC conduct water saturation and vice versa the average relative permeability of oil at residual oil saturation and Tarek Ahmed provides the you know the formula it's very easy so to get this don't forget bar means is a average okay and we will we will look at the relative permeability of oil at you know conduct water saturation so here sigma means summation okay this should be i equals to one true i equals to n so in this case we have n equals to three because we have three samples right we have n equals to three and let me okay color it okay so we have core sample a core b core sample b core sample c and within this bracket is the calculation or the multiplication between thickness the absolute permeability and the relative permeability of oil at conat water saturation for each sample and divided by the summation of thickness multiplied by the by the absolute permeability for each sample and we also do that for the water at residual oil saturation and it's very easy okay so first make me let me or, all right so maybe like this or maybe like this okay i, I i'm going to okay move them like this okay all right so provide thickness provide absolute permeability for each sample there you go and provide this data which we already have in previous step there Okay, so I just use equal so that I can take this value here. And here I take from there. Okay, so prepare for each core sample. And then we just need to calculate like this. So for average relative permeability of oil at Connaught water saturation, it's very easy. So thickness multiplied by absolute permeability multiplied by KROS at SWC. Okay, and then you sum them up with core sample B. This is the, the formula and core sample C. And everything, you put them into one bracket, one parenthesis, and everything there, the nominator, Okay, divided by the denominator. Okay, and the denominator is the multiplication between, you know, thickness and the absolute permeability, and then you also sum them up to get this: the average relative permeability of oil at Connaught water saturation. Okay. Why? Why do we need? Why do we need to do this? Because we want to give greater weight, greater weightage factor to the core who has or which has highest permeability. We want to honor more the core that has greater permeability. Yeah, because it's about permeability. Okay. At the end of the day, it's still about permeability. Don't forget we are talking about relative permeability. So of course, core sample or the rock body which has greater permeability will, will affect the performance more, right? More significantly influence the entire performance. So that's why we need to calculate the thickness and then the permeability, the absolute permeability. And also we want to give more weightage factor to the core that has more thickness, longer thickness. Why? Because their 
the, 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 the longer core will be more representative compared to the shorter core, okay? But in this case, we all have one fit for each core, so they are the same. But we have distinction in terms of, you know, absolute permeability. So the average relative permeability of oil at Connaught water saturation is 0 0.906, whereas the average relative permeability of oil at residual oil saturation is 0 0.402. Okay, so far so good. And then we need to calculate the normalized relative permeability of oil. We call this KRO star and KRW star for all core samples. And again, the, the computation is very easy. It's just KRO divided by KRO at SWC at, you know, Connaught water saturation. And Normalized relative permeability of water, KRW star, is relative permeability of water divided by relative permeability of all water at residual oil saturation for each core sample. So here I have the, the true water saturation and we have the normalized water saturation. Okay. And we can calculate the normalized relative permeability of oil, normalized relative permeability of water for each core sample. So like this, we have this already, the normalized water saturation. We can take that from the previous table, okay? So you see, I have this. So I take this value from the previous table. And to calculate this, I just divide the relative permeability of oil from the previous table, C8, you know, C8, there, okay, divided by this, KRO at Connaught water saturation for that core sample, okay? We haven't used this average yet, okay? So again, you can drag this, like this and you do that also for the water you go to the original relative permeability of water data there and then you divide that with relative permeability of water at residual saturation at that particular core sample so you get this and of course you get the table it's very it's quite easy so far Okay. Okay. And you do this the exactly the same approach for each core sample. Okay. And then you need to plot the normalized value of KRO star and KRW star versus the normalized water saturation for each core on a regular graph paper. 